last decade we, is the HIV decade in South Africa and we are coming out of that and now what is becoming more common is the metabolic diseases which is include diabetes, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia and obesity. In addition to that we are also seeing a, a problem and trend recently where HIV patients are also developing diabetes as a part of either because of the viremia or because of the drugs or because of the baseline risks of obesity. Uh, lipodystrophy and the fat, the insulin resistance which are developing. And so I think what you're seeing and probably this decade would be a decade of metabolic diseases which is becoming a chronic challenge and diabetes being a part of that is I think is a challenge in Johannesburg. I'm very proud to say that diabetes is in our mayor scorecard. So the mayor actually had 10 things which he is judged on and one of them is diabetes and 50% and of the patient must be controlled according to his scorecard. I think at this moment what we are sitting around over 40%. So I don't think this is unachievable or too optimistic targets because we started at 35% two years ago when he introduced this in the scorecard. So, I mean, obviously when we started, it was a bit of problem because we didn't understand all the other issues. So in that sense, we last two years, we achieved 5% move and, and the next couple of years, I mean, we would be able to achieve the 50%. So I don't think this is unreasonable target. But what is more interesting for us, I mean, it's not just a 50% target, but I think it's the HB1C, what I'm talking about, the control of the HB1C. We are also looking at the clinical outcomes. So these patients, when we are talking about the 50% target, they sh must be complication free. And, and that's most important, that complication-free means that they shouldn't have any neural problems, neurological problems, eye problems, or any kidney problems. So these together, we talk about 50%. So it's, it's quite complicated in that sense. I think initially it's very easy to achieve like 10 from 10 to 20, but 20 to 40 is more critical. 40 to 80 would be much more critical. And I think we are at that stage. And this particular project will assist us in terms of that. I mean, definitely we need to control our own city population, which we hope will be then transmitted to the other South African cities and other African cities, so one side. On the other side, we can also actually help to share knowledge with the other five cities in the, which are currently being in the front runner of this program. And our relationship in the city and uh, Novo, it's a long relationship. I mean, I think over the last decade, I mean, we have I started with the changing diabetic bus, which was, I think, 2008-9. And subsequent to that, we have the cycling project, we have the Go Mobility project. There are multiple interventions which the Novo and City are working together. And there are also a number of research projects which are currently being underway in the city under my university and other universities. And I think it is important to consolidate the results which we are receiving and then find what we are more interested to find the cause of causes. All of you know about Mandela, and Mandela offered us in 1994 free primary health care as well as the right to health care. So it's a fundamental right in South, all South Africans and who lives in the soil of South Africa. So in that sense, every people who lives in Johannesburg have a right to health. So this is a part of that project. 